Hi, my name is Matiazzi and I'm proud to finally announce my set of Max for Life plugins called Outbreak. The purpose of the plugins is to aid in quickly producing modular and responsive light shows for innovation launchpad controllers with minimal effort. They can also be chained with other plugins outside the Outbreak set and the included Ableton MIDI effects. Outbreak devices are designed with performance and flexibility in mind, so they can be used for all kinds of different purposes. In this video, I'll quickly explain what each plugin does and how they can be used effectively. To use Outbreak devices in your own projects, simply drag and drop a device onto a MIDI effect track in the device chain of your lights track. You don't need to place any device or any additional files in a specific folder for them to function properly, although it is recommended to keep them inside your Ableton project folder for easier sharing. You can easily make your project file perfectly shareable by selecting Collect All and Save in Ableton Live's file menu. Lightweight adds MIDI file playback functionality from within Ableton's device chain. It uses very little resources in comparison to other solutions like MIDIX and MIDIFIRE, while maintaining compatibility with any currently existing MIDIX or MIDIFIRE projects. To load the MIDI file, simply drag it from Live's file browser onto the device. Lightweight automatically saves and loads with the Ableton Live project, so you don't need to keep a special master device to save your effects properly. To play your MIDI file, simply set a note to the device. Lightweight will automatically sync the speed of your MIDI file to Ableton Live's current BPM. It also supports stroke groups similar to those found in the drum rack. Loading MIDIX and MIDIFIRE projects is a bit more complicated and hasn't changed at all since the original Lightweight release. You can check out the original release video for more information on that topic, or you can find an in-depth explanation in documentation. Defts allows you to stack light effects on top of each other. This allows you to play light effects on a background layer while keeping other effects on top of those on a foreground layer. This works using a selector and a mixer device. The selector is responsible for selecting the layer for your light effect and transmitting the data over to the mixer, which renders the final light show. Because of this, you should place the mixer before any top lights device, if you're using one. The selector will always transmit to the mixer with the matching channel. This can be used to send light effects to the output of a different track, which makes it easier to create cross launchpad light effects. It eliminates the need for the additional L2R and R2L tracks. Iris allows you to easily give color fades to any light effect. It works with a list of velocities and generates the fades for every note that it receives. It can play a single fade or it can loop the fade for as long as the note is held. It is also easy to adjust the speed of the fade. Twist is a plugin that is similar to Wormhole on first glance. It can control the 8 macros in the topmost track mid-performance. When Twist receives a note, it'll update the values of those macros to those you've set. This makes it easy to control any other parameter simply by mapping the parameter to a macro. It is most used to swap pages by changing the chain selector. You can use the navigation bar on the bottom of the device to select which macro you want to work with. Twist expands on the idea of Warhol by allowing you to smoothly glide the value of a macro to a desired value in addition to just setting it directly. This is useful for automating parameters such as filters live during a performance. Flip can mirror or rotate light effects on the launchpad, which speeds up workflow. It can also be used to generate entirely new light effects from currently existing ones. The mirror direction or rotation angle can be specified with the drop-down boxes, and the bypass toggle tells if the original light effect will also be output alongside the transformed effect. Multi is designed to allow painless multi-sampling without any messy setups and misaligned randoms. It functions similarly to a traditional random, but the main difference is the ability to reset the multi-sample back to the first sample by sending a note to the multi-reset device, which resets all multi-devices in the live set. This is especially useful when practicing or creating a cover. Multi can also increment the macro on the samples or lights track instead of the note. Infinity makes any note that passes through it have an infinite length. This is extremely useful if you want certain effects to stay on the launchpad without having any notes disappear from delayed note-offs. Notes stay held until they are cleared away by another effect's notes. You can also manually clear the notes with the flush buttons. Delay holds any MIDI messages for a specified amount of time before allowing them to go through. This can be seen as adding artificial latency or input lag. The delay's duration can be adjusted and is extremely flexible. I'd like to give a shout out to all of the people who contributed to making the Outbreak set a reality. Those people include Launchpad Lights, RPG Alexi, Resvest, Nirk, and other people. And as always, thanks to everyone for the huge support. This project wouldn't have been possible without you.